For Democratic 2020 candidates, the Hollywood primary is heating up. Check this out, Senator Kamala Harris hanging out with some pop stars this weekend. Well, who else is picking sides? Hollywood may have found a new leading man. Campaign finance disclosures out this week reveal that in the race for celebrity support, 37-year-old South Bend Mayor Pete Buttigieg may be pulling ahead. This spring, the Indiana mayor scooped up donations from a star-studded cast of Hollywood royalty, including Gwyneth Paltrow, Michael J. Fox, and Kevin Bacon. In fact, in Hollywood these days, it's more like six degrees of Mayor Pete. Another favorite among the celebrity set, their home state senator, Kamala Harris, who scored donations from Sean Penn, Don Cheadle, and former TV spy Jennifer Garner. This is how it's going to be. America's sweetheart Tom Hanks wrote a check to former Vice President Joe Biden's campaign. He could also offer the former VP some advice on debate prep. You never know what you're going to get. One complication, in this 2020 election cycle, cashing big checks from millionaires could be problematic. You become kind of a favored candidate of, uh, of the elite. We're trying to reach everybody at every different level. Massachusetts Senator Elizabeth Warren has sworn off, quote, fancy receptions or big money fundraisers. I am not doing fundraisers with multimillionaires. But Hollywood just can't seem to quit her. Warren still found support from Bette Midler, Amy Schumer, and Scarlett Johansson. Some celebrities couldn't pick just one candidate, like fictional presidential advisor Bradley Whitford. I serve at the pleasure of the president of the United States. He gave to Buttigieg, Senator Cory Booker, and former HUD Secretary Julian Castro. The primary race is just getting started. But if one of these Democrats wins in 2020, the future president may need Hollywood's help on a sequel.